Hey everyone, time for another awesome Pinocchio AI app that I find to be super useful. This is for the app RMBG2 Studio. Yes, quite the mouthful. RMBG standing for Remove Background. So it should be pretty obvious what this app is for. Take any image you have and remove the background of the image while leaving the subject intact so that you can place it into any other image or video. I can tell you now, before I even get into it, the main reason to use this app is because of how simple it is and being able to do it in batches, and if you continue to watch, you'll see exactly how this is done. But first, let's get this installed. If you do not have Pinocchio installed on your computer, you can watch my video on how to install it and the basics of its usage. The link to the video is in the description below. With Pinocchio open, let's click on the Discover icon up at the top. And there in the third spot, though that will change with more things being added constantly, is our target application to install. Clicking on that will bring up the information on it. Feel free to peruse any posts about it in the newsfeed. And then hit the big download button back up top. Hit the smaller download button directly afterward, and that will start the download of the installation files. Now, Hit the install button, and this will begin the actual installation. This process took almost exactly two minutes on my system. This should now have you opened up directly into the UI. Looking quickly at the UI, the top box, known as the image gallery, is the area that will house every output that you create. Just below this are the three tabs that bring you to the three main functions that this app can do. Quick remove, process and replace, and batch processing. We're currently in the quick remove. Here's the process and replace, and here's the batch processing. Back to quick remove for the main function of this app. It's very simple. Just drag and drop an image that has a subject where you want the background removed from it. You also have the option just below that box to paste an image link directly from the internet. As soon as you drop it in, it starts processing. There's really nothing else to it. This took roughly 20 seconds on my super slow M1 Mac. Though I didn't record it, it's the same when using an image link. Just paste in the link, hit enter, and it processes. Once it's completed the job, you can see the before after window has a slider that allows you to drag it back and forth to compare, well, the before and after images. I wasn't really sure at this point what to do, but I was curious as to what the open output folder button did. I was thinking that maybe it would already automatically have the output image there. Instead, it just seems like this feature is broken and gave me an error. Maybe it'll work on your system, I don't know. Then I found out that the download button in the top left of the before after window is not what you want to click on to get your output. This will just give you a WebP version of your original image. Kind of pointless. Instead, up at the top in the image gallery, tap the download button in the top right. Choose a location to save, and that will give you the new PNG with the alpha channel. Hit the close button just to the right of the download button to close the single image, and then it's back to the gallery view. I'm going to do another one quickly to see what it picks up. Here's a squirrel on a bird feeder. And it looks like it did a great job of getting the squirrel with the bird feeder. Now to switch over to the batch processing. It has basic instructions here, but it's very simple. If you want more than one image to be done at once, use the batch processing. Then drag and drop a selection of images. Do not drag a folder of images, as that won't work. And once you've added your images to the queue, you cannot add more to it by dragging more onto it. You have to start over with a single drag and drop of everything you want done in the batch. If you're doing it the more annoying way, by browsing you through your directories, command click on a Mac or control click on a PC to select multiple files. Again, do not select the folder. Once you're ready, hit the process all images button and wait for it to cycle through your batch. The six images I put in took roughly a minute and 20 seconds. Because this was a batch process, the before and after window doesn't exist for obvious reasons. Instead, all the processed images are up in the image gallery. Here, you can click on and download each image individually. 
When in the preview mode of the window, you can easily tap the tiny preview icon at the bottom to switch to the next or whatever other image you'd like to. Much easier than closing and going back to the gallery each time. If you want, or if you're going to do another batch, hit the X in the top right of the Load Images window. But for now, we're going to take a look at Process and Replace. Honestly, I'm going to spend very, very little time on this one, as I believe it to be worthless because of how slow it is. But what this section does is allow you to do the same thing as the Quick Remove tab, but then actually add that output to a new background and edit it all directly within the app. So the basic concept I'm going with is to take the squirrel on the bird feeder and put him into this image I have of tourists watching some men playing alp horns in the Swiss Alps. My first thought was that I could just drag the already processed version in, but that did nothing. So instead I have to drag in the file version that I already downloaded to my computer. Next, bring in the alp horns image. That automatically starts the process of putting the processed image onto the new background image. This will just center it without any changes made. Then, to edit its placement, size, rotation, and mirroring, you get a bunch of sliders to play around with below it. And even further below that are a bunch of more sliders to play with the coloring to try to match it to the background. Don't get me wrong, I love that the developer tried to make this an all in one solution, but the time it takes for each edit and the guesswork of how much each movement of a slider will actually have is kind of ridiculous. It took 20 seconds just to wait for it to do a tiny size change. Maybe it's near instant with a 4090, but it's definitely not going to be that way for everyone. By the time I came anywhere close to what I would have wanted, I could have easily opened up the free to use PhotoP website and done the entire edit with much higher accuracy and efficiency. However, if you do get something you want, be sure to hit the save image button in the bottom left so that it's now in your image gallery. But since I brought up PhotoP, let's go do that super quick, just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But trust me, this will be very quick. You can see as I quickly go through this that I even crop the white line out of the bottom of the image. Then I easily bring the squirrel in. I shrink them down a bit. And I move them into position all while getting live updates as to his size and his position. This way I'm easily able to put it exactly where I want and the exact size I want. And the great thing is, I didn't even have to speed that up. That was all done in real time. Back to RMBG2 Studio. I'm going to set up another quick batch for the fun of it and to test a bit of variety. But that's really all there is to the app. Once you're done, Either just completely quit Pinocchio or hit the stop button next to the terminal option on the left side. Hitting the stop button will quit the individual app while keeping Pinocchio open. Tap the home button in the bottom left to see your currently installed apps. And if you want at that point, hit the discover and find something else fun to play around with. So what do you think of RMBG2 Studio? Aside from the name that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I think it works great. It does exactly what it's supposed to and meant to do. And it does it simply and quickly. I just choose to ignore the process and replace tab. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you'd like me to cover on my channel. But more importantly, please take a second to like and subscribe. There's even a bell to ring that will give you a notification for when I have any new videos. I think that may be the first time I've ever even mentioned that. Also, share this video. It's incredible how much that helps. As always, I thank you so much for watching my video. Take care, and have a wonderful day.